Hi, I'm Karen Boniker, Elite Painter Master. Colored pencils are often associated with childhood, but with the adult coloring phase, mandalas, and other fun projects out there, it's clear that grown-ups like to use them too. These tools, however, can do much, much more than color inside the lines. Artists regularly use colored pencils in their drawings because they offer a range of possibilities, especially in the range of hues. You can layer them to create even more dimension in your work. When discovering your favorites, ultimately it comes down to your personal preference. But to get you started on the right track, I've identified some of the best pencil variants to try. These variants are available for painter and painter essentials. So it's easy to test out a few different pencils and find your favorites. Make sure you try out your pencils using these essential colored pencil techniques. So let's get started. The first brush we're going to talk about is the very first brush in the category called Big Bold. And um, this brush um, would be your basic uh, go-to colored pencil. It not only gives you beautiful texture and picks up the paper texture that you're using, and that can be obtained by going to the shape options and applying dab stencil. And remember that you can also work with the opacity of the brush, the grain, the reset, and the bleed settings, which are all right on the property bar for you. This brush also has a beautiful layering effect. If you put firm pressure on the brush, you'll get a lot of saturation coming out in the colored pencil, just as if you were actually using a real colored pencil and putting heavy pressure on it. And with light pressure, you can see as I go over this brush stroke, you can see how the colors just blend beautifully. Let's pick another color and go over these and look at this really, really traditional blending that you get. So that's Big Bold. The next brush is Dry Texture. And this brush again is a drier brush, but it also has beautiful blending effects. Uh, you can apply firm or soft pressure depending upon the effect you're trying to achieve. And again, firm pressure gives you lots of lots of saturation and notice that the edges are a little softer on this colored pencil. It would be almost as if painting or drawing with a 2B pencil so it's a little bit softer. The next brush we'll go to is called fine tip and that's exactly what this brush is. It's a very expressive fine tip colored pencil with lots of texture that you can use for uh, quick sketches, um, you know, anything that you're um, trying to get a quick sketch in or some ideas down on paper. So it's a really fun brush to work with. That's fine tip. The next brush is called grainy shading. And I would use this brush uh, for shading different parts of a drawing that you're working on. You can see how the colors really overlay nicely on top of each other. Very, very traditional very much how pencils uh, work in the real world. And you can get some beautiful saturation of color and texture coming through. So that's a shading, grainy shading. The next brush is Oily Pencil. And this is a fun one. It's very oily, as you can see. Um, so this would be a, the softest colored pencil in the group. So uh, again, you can use this brush for just about anything. It's very expressive, beautiful for um, doing calligraphy work, and uh, just real expressive brush work. Oily pencil. The next is shading pencil. And this one is a very soft shading brush. You can see how, how very opaque it is and very soft on the edges. I like using this one for clouds, landscapes, distant mountains, so it works quite nicely for those effects. 
shading pencil. Smooth is the next brush and it is a oily type uh, colored pencil. So you can see that it has lots of texture uh, built into it and it's very expressive so you can use it for sketching or drawing. I especially like using it for um, mandala work. So uh, bringing my mandala into play here and my mirror painting, you can see that you can use it for some beautiful effects. The next brush we're going to work on is called Smudge Pencil. And we'll take off that mirror painting now. Smudge Pencil is um, one of my absolute favorites in this group, and let me show you why. With normal pressure, just doing kind of streaky texture work here, you can see how this brush kind of lays in um, highly textured, expressive brushes. Great brush for um, foliage, uh, hair, um, anything like that, but the real neat thing about this brush is let me put down some color here and I'll put some yellow in here too. When you put firm pressure on the brush notice how you start to get a blending going on. So my red and yellow starts to become green here. So I get some nice blending and I can go into these other areas and blend and blend so soft pressure, you're going to get lots of saturation and firm pressure and you do not want to bring up your stylus, keep the stylus on the canvas, do not lift it. Otherwise, when you do, you'll start painting again. So when I put firm pressure on again, you can see that I start blending and I'm not lifting my stylus now. So anywhere where I wanted that blending to take place. really a fun brush. That smudge pencil. Soft cover is a soft cover pencil. Um, again, beautiful for overlays of color and for uh, building up of color. It can be used for, you know, just about anything. It's uh, one of my favorites for um, in the group for overlays of color. And you can see how I'm doing that right here with just lots of transparency and very, very natural, traditional effects. Soft Edge Blender, and let's go ahead and put some color down here. And we'll do a couple of colors. And then we'll go to the Soft Edge Blender. And you can see that um, you can use this brush at a very small size or use it a little larger and you can see how it, it blends. So it's really kind of a traditional soft edge blender that you can use. Stipple. Stipple's a fun brush. Um, let me get a color that shows up really good here. Stippling is a type of brush stroke. Um, that is done in drawing and uh, the stipple effect can be used for many many different things in fact you can paint a whole picture just in stipple uh, using different values and different hues so I'll make the brush nice and large so you can see what the brush stroke looks like but in default, it's very small and very traditional, so you would use it as a stippling effect. The next brush is Stump, and this one is a very um, soft, oily colored pencil, and very, very expressive, as you can see. Good for calligraphy, good for sketching, and anything in between.
Tartillion blender and let me also get some paint down here. So we'll get some paint here and then we'll go back to our blender. And you can see that this is a very soft edge blender. And remember that you can also use it without pick up under line color so you're not picking up the colors below as you're blending. And the next brush is Waxy. And this one is a very uh, waxy colored pencil. I'll zoom in here so you can see this nice texture. It's rather small tip, um, but it, it's very expressive and is another beautiful brush for laying down different layers of colored pencil. Very good for shading. So if you're doing a drawing and you need to do some uh, hatching, it's a beautiful brush for that. And you'll find that the colors just kind of build on each other. And that is waxy. The next brush is Wet Blender. And this brush um, is a, uh, a blending brush. I'm going to turn that on. And it's a nice brush to use uh, if you're looking for um, the effect of maybe a little bit of water on your pencil. Um, so it, it's a very, very fluid blender. So you can see that it adds some interesting texture. I'll actually go to um, this layer here on the sun and do some blending here so you can see this. You can see how the different uh, textures move out and it becomes very, very fluid. So it's not a typical blender. It's more in a, of an effect blender where you're looking for a certain effect. So you can see how it really softens things. And that is Wet Blender. So I hope you'll enjoy these beautiful, beautiful colored pencils. If you haven't worked with colored pencils before, you'll really want to work with these. They're a lot of fun. Some ideas that you can work with, of course, is using the mirror painting or kaleidoscope painting to create some beautiful designs with these brushes. They really, uh, you know, you'll really be happy with some of the designs you can make with these. Create some patterns. Uh, just have a lot of fun. So I hope you enjoy them and take care.